We're all used to the Wago or Vago connectors. These are the classic push-in ones. Let me go down a little bit closer. But recently I got some uh, through connectors by a company called Ideal. And these came from a UK supplier called Screwfix, a prominent trade material supplier. And the odd thing is, it's got the sort of hints of the Stroyans, the American flag on here, and it lists American work ages. So I wonder if this originates in America. I'm not sure. However, there is a sticky label in the back. Uh, European specifications, other specifications shown in this box do not apply to the UK market. And uh, the idea of these is that as opposed to the Vago or Wigo, Vago being the correct pronunciation because it's Wagner and, uh, and uh, there's two names blended together and one of them is Wagner. Now with these, both the wires go in from one side. With this style of connector, they go in from one side and the other side. So let's start by actually just pushing a cable in. So this is 2.5 millimeter cable and I'm going to push it in and see how it goes. It went in fairly solidly. And this one goes in the round hole and it also went in fairly solidly. And now they're locked in. Now this claims to be rated up to 32 amps, which is reasonable enough. And it handles a copper wire, solid copper wire of 0.5 to 4 millimetre. This is 2.5 I put in, so it could go bigger. But the stranded copper wire is only for what you might call conduit wire, where you've got seven strands or less and not uh, flex. You can't use flex in this because it'll just sort of crumple up when you push it in against the spring in here. But we can take a look at the spring because I, I've already opened one uh, and taken pictures. So let's take a look at the... Uh, listing for this well the listing the the retail the shops uh listing so this is the screw fix page i shall focus on that and it says i do 32 amp two-way push wire connector 10 pack suitable for 0.5 to 4 millimeter cables single use only now i'm not convinced it is totally single use only but i'll mention that afterwards Quick and easy installation it is. Fast, tool-free alternative crimps, absolutely. Easily extend short wires. It is quite good. So £2.39, including VAT, for 10 of them, um, which makes it about 24 pence each inclusive. Now, I opened one up, and this is what it looks like inside. This is the bit you want to see, isn't it? There is a copper slug here, and it's got holes through it, four holes, but it's also got a little ramp. See where that wire is going up there? It's actually got a ramp there. Now, the... In, when this metal structure is actually inside, well, here's the metal structure right here. When it is inside the plastic housing, it pulls these back just a little bit. And that actually makes the cable actually sit more flatterer onto this uh, copper slug. But the main thing is, it looks as though it is copper and it's producing, although it's got the spring steel, the spring steel is really just there to grip the cable and push it against that. And the way they've attached it in, there are these tiny little rivets. I'm not sure exactly the manufacturing technique they've used. I don't know if they've placed them down into the holes and then flared them out, or if they were somehow pushed up from the copper and then actually um, flared out and they're copper. But I don't think they are copper. I think they are separate rivets put in, and there's four of them. Um, but as you push it in, it pushes this little tang back, which grips the wire and then pushes it against the copper slug. And that's what makes the connection. Uh, it looks fairly robust. Now, what I was thinking um, when I was saying that maybe this is releasable, this is where I wish I'd got a screwdriver of the correct size. There, There's one. Hold up. A little jewellery screwdriver. I can see why they don't want you reusing these. Uh, they don't want you reusing them because if you use excessive force to do what I'm about to do, which may not even work, it could potentially damage the connector and actually make a bad connection. But let's get this one. So there is a probing point in here that you can put a test meter in and you can actually touch the metal at the back here to actually probe in and make do an electrical test. But I reckon that if you wheedled that in, maybe I'm wrong, and just pushed in very gently, you might be able to... Uh, release that uh, tang, but it's not a recommended thing. I'm thinking maybe. Maybe this is why. Maybe it's because uh, you'd end up using unreasonable force, wouldn't you? You would, so that's not a good idea. Okay, so they're absolutely right. It is a single-use connector. Now, the Vago, on the other hand, you could kind of twist them out, the spiral them out. Is this going to work with this one? It does. 
So there is that option, but it does say single-use connector. They don't really want you doing that, but it does kind of work. So it's worth knowing that. Should you screw up and you've only got one connector left? But that is it. Uh, is there much else really to say about these? They seem to be sensibly designed. Uh, it's quite nice that the cables only have to overlap a small section, so you only need, uh, if you say for instance a cable got cut, you only need to find a little bit of slack to actually strip these and then push it into this connector, and it does have that straight through flow that you know you've got the you've got the cable coming in with one side coming out the other, or as they say, it could be used to extend cables when. A cable has been left a bit short in a switch or socket box and then you just want to add a wee tail onto it like this that you can just plug it into this. But it's pretty neat. It's a nice enough looking connector. So that is it, the splice line. I wonder if they do other stuff. I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, it is an interesting alternative to the Vago connector and it does actually seem to work quite well.